Hello everyone, we're here with Andromeda, and this is a stealth build. Well, somewhat stealth. We're playing Switchblade, and the rest of them are not stealth, so I don't know if that counts as stealth if you're playing just one stealth breaker. Switchblade, Passport, Yogg, Paperclip, and Atman. Kind of a mix, and we've got three of them off the bat. Normal, which is a good sign. This game, I think it's probably a bad sign, because there's not that much ice out of CTM. Ooh. Targeted marketing. Maybe this is a different one than we're expecting. I was expecting like commercial bankers union or maybe the uh, clone suffrage. But what's actually the case right here? Really? <laughs> oh, he's naming our contract, which we have in our opening hand. Womp womp. Well. We could blind siphon him. We could just check HQ and see full res. Oh. Hmm. I also want to siphon through that. Is that crazy? I think it is because he can just dump his money in the trace. Won't get much. Yeah, I, th I think it is crazy to siphon right now. We get like, what, three bucks? And we can't have resources sitting out here. It doesn't matter if we can siphon next turn and then remove tags. Even then, not super profitable, is it? Let's see what we got here. Pad campaign, don't care about that. I really want to play this contract, but sadly, it's probably not to be. Yeah, this is fine. Testing's good. Oh, that's really good for him. Since he's on the res. We'd be doing great here if we had this contract down. We could fight Harding News. We could trash this, the Sensi. Do we give him ten dollars? Feels kind of bad because we could just get closed account right away. I guess the goal is to steal an agenda and then immediately play it. She had some bank jobs here. We just have to trash Sensei, there's, there's no question. It comes to the same whether we remove tag or not. Playing Switchblade will let us eventually break the Raven. Is it worth it? I almost think it's not worth it at this time, given what he has on the board. We've got three Switchblades, so it's fine to, to toss one early. Could bite the bullet. We've got now got all three of our contracts. Wow. But we can't really steal if he's got like three food through breaking news, it's gonna be really hard to get anything out of him. I was hoping we're Desperado. We could poke a central, but his ice is so cheap, it's probably like Turnpike. Yeah, 
I think it's fine. Whatever. You can have his money. We're both rich. I can just clear hard any news. This is kind of a weird matchup because our icebreakers don't really do anything. Uh, the resistor, you can install your clip four if you want, but then once you get hit with tags, it doesn't. It's not doing anything anyway. So most of us are sentries where you can break in with switchblade, but you, the turnpike still fires on encounter. The raven still fires on encounter, so you're not gaining all that much. Love to Desperado right now. I'm not sure this will even end up being doing anything whatsoever. So the good thing for us this matchup is if he doesn't get a sand sand floating or sneak an ice through, he actually can't score. So if this is a sand sand we need to go after, if it's breaking, we have to go after it. Oh, let's check it. It's probably toll booth, which sucks for us. But there's no way to know without actually running into it. Yeah, it's toll booth. So this is Sand Sand, he's probably beat us because we can't spend a ton of money going in there. And then it's Sand Sand. So the MN5 beats this for uh, a lot of money. Let's think if we even want to install it or we could let that go through. Yeah, we kind of have to put a paper clip here. So if we really think this is an Astro, what we have to do is pay eight for the admin five, three more for the toll booth, and then one more to go in. And then we get hit for four tags. But if we don't, then we're also screwed if it's breaking news. Because we'll just either lose all our money or lose whatever. Yeah. You know what? I think we're just in trouble no matter what. I think we'll let it go through and get wrecked. Oh, it's just Jackson. Well, that's good. Trying to bait us. You never really know. It's very reasonable to put any card behind this. So we can dump agendas. He hasn't seen any yet, so he might as well pitch them, right? And there's more stuff to try to grind us down with. I really want to steal, but I think... Maybe he felt he didn't want to put risk an agenda because the tar marketing would go away. Just let's say it's kind of fair. So what do we got over here? Banker, Sensi, some garbage card like that. Bad campaign. Yeah, it's an issue, but kind of poor to trash that. I almost want to kill this pad. Cause he's gonna get ahead in the money raise if we let that live. 
but then we get a tag unless we pay three. So this ends up being really expensive. Yeah, you can have another fat stack of cash. It's fine. I guess we could name server one. Is there an advantage to naming archives? Once we have sucker, there is, but we don't know if it's our next card or if it's like 20 cards down, unfortunately. I would love to start farming sucker tokens so we could make Yogg break this. Yeah, this is the hazard. He's able to just, um, So we're playing the toll booth game is what we're doing, which is a not very fun game for us since we don't have a way to deal with it efficiently. What do we got? That's pretty good. Yep. So we're probably just gonna trash both pads and get our yog down. Oh well. We are strong here. If it's breaking news, we can probably hit scoop. Oh that's fine. Does his money even matter at this point? For psycho, that's pretty good. For anything else, I don't know that it even matters. Oh, there's our yog. Even better. Ah, there's Sucker. Cool. We can play that later. I want to get my testing this turn. Get a bunch of money. Alright, so we get $11 for after that run. Now we can start to farm suckers in archives. Like now he kind of knows, right? But I think we have to just keep trying it. I don't think we really get a choice. Breaking news, we gotta get it. Whiffs the marketing, I like that. He gets more money. I guess there's mid seasons is maybe a thing. And now he knows we can just go archives, archives, run toll booth. So what does that mean from his side of the table? I feel like there's no reason for him to put an agenda here where we can obviously get at it. And we obviously even want to because we can get our money off the contract. So, I mean, it feels bad to run that. But on the other hand, like, what can he actually do? Maybe the answer is he can't do anything about it. Except just slam agendas. Yeah, okay, another Jackson. So we're starting to get a kind of a psychology thing on him. Like, would he just put blind agendas out? And it seems like he doesn't really want to, unless it, he, unless it looks somewhat safe. And even then he was preferring to bluff when possible. So our plan to hit R&D can start if, but do you want to get out a Sentry Breaker first? 
We've got one silencer which does nothing whatsoever. So what we could do is just slam into R&D and not really worry about it. We also can account siphon here if we think it matters. I don't mind it actually. Account siphon, remove three tags. It's an okay turn for us. We get a turning mill counter. Oh yeah, or he just pays four. Fair enough. Didn't want to siphon that much anyway. Now, if we got another Raven here on R&D, that's going to suck for us. At this point, I'm really hoping that we're not. Okay, that's um, irritating, but manageable. So we're going to have a trace. We're a sucker token short. And everything on our board is worth five credits. So we had to pay here. So we don't get like bounced by like a quandary next. Are you kidding me? All right. That's gonna make things difficult. All we get is a resistor and a turning wheel counter. Well, this sucks. What we need is well, second sucker is all right. What we really need to get is a Desperado. So he's running fairly beefy ice. I guess he's counting on the targeted marking to hit in order to res them or for us to let this stuff go. There's probably some agendas in the bin. I'm not sure I want to run there anyway. I guess that's the credit to check. I get a sucker token. So we could put second sucker, check archives to blow the jacks, and no, it's already gone. Saves the trouble. Maybe we don't need Desperado. Maybe we just load the turning wheel and then go crazy on R&D. Yeah, I I mean, it's hard to know. He can put a lot of stuff back here. Oops. Um, I wouldn't even put it past him to have... Maybe this is a CVS. I should have checked this card first. That would have been a fun little trick for him to do. Reverse accounts. Yeah. I guess so. We gotta pay three, and the reason is we have to check this other card and make sure it's not uh, breaking news. Sensi. Yeah, so we're probably getting tagged next turn. So we can do a clear. I'm not convinced I care about his credit pool as long as we have enough money to clear hard hitting news. I 
I like this play from him because now we are going to be running off our feet to check everything. I actually kind of think he might have put an agenda out here. Bankers again. Uh, we actually don't care, I think, about bankers anymore. So there's the breaking news. Now, did he put two agendas? I That's very possible. So I'm going to check it. We still have enough money to, to, to do the clear. Mid-season hits us, but... Uh, can't be helped. Red herrings, yeah. Um, I think I leave that actually. I'll pay five at a later date if need be. So he now has to pressure us every turn, or we'll be or we'll be able to do testing, testing and then have two clicks to check stuff. We are dying for Desperado here. Okay, sure. So we do a full clear, he gets to score any agenda he wants. Or we feel the wrath of his tag punishment, which is probably, well, it's certainly he'd have exchange. Not sure what else he'd have that we care about. This makes sense to be an agenda. Suppose we take global food, Where, what do we get for that? Nothing, right? I think our turning wheel is probably key to winning this game. And that we can eventually go to R&D and cash out all our accesses and hopefully finish up that way. Yep, yeah, if only we played wizard. Well, I don't know, Wizard's that great. If we only had our bank jobs, we'd be happier. So I'm hoping that this is merely... Uh, shit. <laughs> hoping this is merely Astro Script or Beal. This is a very bad scenario for us. Um, we still don't have Desperado. which makes losing all those econ cards extremely bad. If we could at least run everywhere, I would feel better. But we just got an unfortunate draw this time that all three Desperado were that low. Yeah, we're gonna be able, unable to play the game on Toll Booth. Yeah, I think it's too late. Because we can't get through this toll booth very easily. We don't have any multi-access left. Now he can put behind the red herrings. He's got Sensi running, so he can find what he needs really early. Yeah, I don't think there's a way out for, that for us here. We lost too much money not having Desperado, and we didn't get the full efficiency I would have liked to get on our R&D contract. I was thinking I'd run more, but I did not think he'd have second toll booth on there. So quite an issue for us. This These runs might have been okay had we had the um, 
Desperado going. We could have run there reasonably often. Yeah. That, uh... I mean, realistically, we'd have to credit, 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 run and hope that this is not toll booth. I guess our second line is turning wheel, bounce off of HQ a million times, and then go for the big dig on R&D. Yeah, we don't have enough clicks for that. Not even a little bit. So last plan is run legs, bounce HQ a couple times, and then go for the turning wheel. So he's saying it's global food and then we can't get in. Is that accurate? Like why can't we get in? Second toll booth and red herrings, is that what the problem is? It must be at the third toll booth in front of that. Because we can beat the red herrings. We need eight crabs, right? We, we, if it was just like any other random ice, we could do credit run and take the food. There's nothing in here he would have installed any other agenda. There could be a second food, I suppose. So maybe he should have like worked just in case it was second food, but I he would have bought it on Sensi. Unfortunately, we're not seeing the bottom here. Let's see if we can rob him blind. It's not going to happen. Oh, well, close. Let's see what the ice is. Another toll booth, that's one thing that really makes sense. Was he just planning to go to the next one after that? So I don't need to 
uh, nine credits. And I started my turn with seven credits. So like credit, credit, steal, credit gets me in. Okay, he was planning to feed the food and draw another one off his sensi. Interesting. I don't really love that play. But we almost got there with our turning wheel. I guess we probably should have leg worked one of those runs just to see if we could have picked up another food out of there. But there's only one more agenda and it's most likely in the R&D. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.